Hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich mod. Yes, if you don't know what this is, this is a alternate history scenario where Germany wins World War One. Well, there's a lot more um, of a history than just that, but that is the basic of it. Um, I believe, <laughs> from what I read... The Germany managed to piece out France and the Netherlands and all that, and Belgium, and they took all of their Central Amer Central African holdings. Went for a white peace with Britain. America never left isolationism and went uh, and stayed in, uh, stayed out of the war. Words are failing me to, today, um, which I'm very sorry for. And then communism took grip of Britain and France. And yes, uh, the monarchy, British monarchy is now in Canada and things like that. But today we are going to be playing as the United States. Other interesting nations. Yeah, we're going to be playing as the United States. Because although in this mod at the moment they haven't got their own um, tree, what's it called? Focuses tree. Um, they do have all of their storyline put in, and they have a very interesting one. We're going to go regular. Uh, I'm not going to bother in any of those. And yes, we're going to start in January 1st, Leg Legacy of the Weltkrieg, Welt Welt which is, I think, what um, World War One ended up being called. So yes, uh, America was still um, hit by the Wall Street crash because they did bail out the Entente. So I'll quickly open up the factions map mode. So Germany is still a, an empire. It holds Middle Europa with these uh, buffer state factions over here. I think that's uh, the Kingdom of Ukraine, White Ruthenia, Kingdom of Lithuania, United Baltic Duchy. They also sided with Russia and the Whites, so there is no Soviet Union right now. I say right now. Um, and yeah, so there's it, uh, Italy is split in half, Kingdom of Spain exists, um, and all those things. But first, hello, United States. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do something weird with my Navy. I played this scenario quite a few times as the United States just to make sure I could fully, definitely do it. Uh, and that is. See if I can get my navies that are around here down this side. Which I can. Uh, you will see why eventually. So I'm not going to... For those who already know the scenario, don't say in the comments or anything. I want people who are not familiar with the mod and the storyline that comes with it to, um, to kind of you know, be a bit surprised at what happens. So... America is at a state of rearmament, armam uh, not rearming, but I want them to rearm. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to be, as the leader of the USA, who is at the moment Henry Hoover? Herbert Hoover. Fucking Henry Hoover's the product. Um, he's not a Henry Hoover. <laughs> he's not a red sucking thing. Oh, Jesus, Alex, you went there. You went too far, man. Too far. Um, it's Herbert Hoover. And Herbert Hoover has decided his nation is too weak for its size. And although America poses no enemies directly, uh, it feels for the wider world that they should rearm. And with that, uh, we don't have that many. That will come to that in a moment. We've only got seven military factories. So guess what? We're going to be building some military factories. Um, going to get support equipment and just get one of everything else. Even though we haven't got units for it. And as for these, I want some convoys. We got a brick big convoy. Light cruisers are cool. Convoy, convoy. Let's get a Pensacota cars. Carriers or subs or destroyers. Uh, battleship, maybe? No, let's get some destroyers. Sims class. That'll do me, and I'm actually going to put more into. Light cruisers for now. That's how I'm going to work my navy. Research, just got to do the normal things. 
No, the whole machining, construction, synthetic oils, and research time. Because that's how you start every game of Hoi 4. Because it's simple as fuck. <sighs> One day. Do I have any... That's naval bases. Do I have any planes over here? I do. You, plane. Go to Maryland. And you, plane. Go to Maryland. I'm just getting everyone into a position where I can start. I'm going to go for industry research times and stuff. No divisions in basic training. Well, you can see to that. Quite that. Uh, let's do ten. Ten in. Oh yeah, let's put them in Maryland. Let's put everything in Maryland. And then I'm also tempted to get one cavalry division just for like light attack and stuff, because it's gonna be a while before we get any army car and uh, army cars. Yeah, those things. Right, oh, we need to do civilian factories. And with the civilian factories, I'm going to fill up Central America here. Not Central America, but Central... You get it. You know what I meant. With military factories. Get a few civilian. But not that many. Right. Lovely. And we're also low on what resource? Rubber. Well, that'll be sorted when we get synthetic oil. Now, air forces, what have I got? Fighters, tactical bombers. Uh, put them in Maryland for now. Maryland. So, did I grab all my navy from like Hawaii and things? Hawaii. Hawaii, Kauai. Hello. I did not. Do you know where you're going? Norfolk. There is a, a good reason for all of this. Now you may have noticed, if you know anything about the Kaiser Rang mod, that we're in very negative political power. Now as the, uh, the this mod works, how this mod works is political power is um, kind of... Uh, it now works like stability points, um, as well as buying ministers and stuff. But if you're in negative, you get negative stability, like that. Low party popularity. Uh, there's a thank you from the Kaiserwerk team. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's a power balance. Yeah, they are. That's where it says. Thank you, Kaiserwerk team. Great job, lads. On the shoulder of giants. Can you guys actually not get through there? Can I just get you to Panama then? Oh, balls. Well, that's annoying. Well, get, get to there then. Oh, subs can apparently, but the rest of the navies can't. Yeah, all well, the submarines seem to be able to. Just gonna make this one super fleet, and you're gonna have Ernest King, and this is gonna be the Pacific Fleet. And you are gonna patrol the western seaboard, the eastern coast, and there for now. Can you uh, combine with them? Thanks. So the subs can go through the Panama, but no, no, no one else really. Oh, we've got a lot of cruisers here. Go up there. Yeah, I thought so. We had a couple of destroyers there. Go there. Our popularity is rising. Well, oh! Okay, let's read this first event. The assassination of President Kerensky. 
The President of the Russian Republic, ever since its inception in 1917, Alexander Kerensky has just been shot and killed while on the way to, to the Senate. The assailant was taken down by the police, but the goals and intentions of the attacker are unknown. Despite the massive unpopularity amongst the Russian people due to botched land reform and ineffective rule, Kerensky was nevertheless able to uphold the country for many years. And his death has thrown Russia into chaos. Senators are already discussing the possible re uh, replacements to Kerensky. New coalitions are being formed, both between the left and the right, while military men like Denkin, Wrangel and Kur Kurinov are just one step away from intervening to the dissolve the democracy and save Mother Russia. I believe they were shot by a man called the Reclaimer. If I know my history of this mod. Ready to move. Ready, sir. That's the big red one. I believe I have one more unit than that. I could be very wrong. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm going to grab that cavalry unit and put them there. Yes. Okay, Atlantic destroyer fleet. Okay, do I want to break any of that off? Yes, I want to grab... Give me all the... Oh, no. That's not wanted. Balls. Give me all the subs. All submarines. And all light cruisers. They're going to be their own fleet. Under... This guy. Harold Ransford Stark. You're going to be convoy raiding Florida coast, Eastern Seaboard, Newfoundland, and the main navy is going to be patrolling Newfoundland, Eastern Seaboard, Florida coast. Uh, I'm getting my nav navies into action early so I don't forget about them because I always do. Uh, that's just me. Right. Insufficient resources. Is this really... Hey, profits from the uh, legation cities. Following the 1926 German intervention in China and the Treaty of Nanjing signed in November of that year, following trade was left to the richest cities of the coast under a joint coalition of world powers owning interests in China. These independ the independence of these uh, consortium of city, the independence of these consortium of cities should be this, I think, this consortium of cities, was guaranteed by the major uh, major local and international powers such as the Quinn, Quinn Empire, the... I'm not even going to try that. Random assortment of letters. Japan, Australia, Canada, the United States, and Germany. Foreign investments uh, also thanks... Uh, and the litigation cities themselves flourished not only through foreign trade but also thanks to smuggling into the and Quinn territories. Despite ongoing economic crisis, our investment to, in the litigation cities is are still bringing us a grand profit. Let the money flow. Sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful for me. I don't read well, especially without my glasses. Which I'm currently doing. I need to stop zooming in and out. I'm going to make people ill. <laughs> yes, Dominion of Canada is where the British monarchy is. And they're still part of the Entente with France, who are in Africa. Black Monday. On the 3rd of February, 1936, the Berlin Stock Exchange stopped sinking. It plunged. Fueled by the instability of market panic, selling erupted as soon as the stock market opened on Monday morning. It took well into the night before the teleprinters to stop spurting out the results of what became known as Black Monday. When the results had been analysed, it was clear the situation had become desperate overnight? Question mark? Mein Gott. Is that, uh, my, my God or something? 
I don't know. Right, so my fleet should be three fleets. Where is this fourth? Ah, you're there. Oh, you can't. Because of this. You're stuck. It's a bit peculiar. I don't understand. Oh, is it because you're pre World War One? It is. So, a way to upgrade that. Vice President Curtis recovers. Many in America feared the worst when Vice President Charles Curtis, presumptive Republican nominee and s to succeed President Hoover, presumptive Republican to succeed Hoover, sorry, suffered a heart attack earlier this morning. While the White House has finally now announced the Vice President is slowly recovering, Curtis will be the first president of Native American ancestry. But his poor fe health seems to be a dark omen for the end of Hoover's administration. Yeah, so we're playing Hoover just before his... Oh, The fifth Afghan... Anglo-Afghani war. Shit, I didn't read that. Okay. After the Welt Krieg, as the British Raj collapsed into turmoil and warfare, the neighbouring kingdom of Afghanistan took advantage. This is an opportunity to seize power of the... Peshwa and Keta, I'm going to say Keta, regions, uh, both border regions of the Dominion. However, Afghani government's attempts to modernize over the last decades have been met with fierce resistance from the conservative elements within the country. Kill a King Amanhul Khan, Emmanuel Khan, fucking hell, well done Alex, hopes to use the turmoil in Delhi following the death of King George V to his advantage. By representing the successes of the Fourth Anglo-Afghan War, the kingdom's the king hopes to silence the cons his conservative opposition and bring new lands into the crown. However, international experts do not put many hopes on the tiny mountain nation winning this conflict. Who cares about Afghanistan? Did George V just die? He did. Edward the seventh. Eighth. Edward the eighth. Edward the seventh was uh, someone that actually, yeah. In Detroit, Michigan, the automotive capital of the world, Walter Rutherford and Richard Frankenstein, the leaders of the United Auto Workers Association. Shit. One of our ministers has died. I'm not paused. Um, called a general strike under against the Ford Motor Company and proclaim themselves unionism, not Fordism, demanding higher pay and less hours for automotive workers. At 2 p.m. today, a photographer from the Detroit Free Press asked to take a photo of the leaders of the UAW standing on the overpass with the Ford sign in the background. While they were posing, a group of 40 men from the Ford Services Department approached them from behind and began to beat them up with their batons. A group continued the attack with some bearing ber uh, on some of the barrette wearing women present to pass out leaflets. This will hurt us more than it hurts the unionists. Uh oh, trade unions. How's our troop production going? Not bad. We're getting one infantry division out of them at a time. It's all going into gun production, please. This.
The hundred. Oh, industrial effort. Lovely. Uh, the construction effort. The 100th anniversary of the Battle of the Alamo. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the Battle of the Alamo, where 200 brave Texans fought and died for the freedom of the newly created Republic of Texas. Remember the Alamo! And of course, uh, Governor... Was it... Oh, uh, no, Senator. Senator Davy Crockett died there as well. And... Uh, what was that? Bowie. The, go, the, the Bowie knife guy. Not David. James? Colonel James Bowie, I think it was. Armed forces of the Romani of Romania have moved into Olen Oltenia. Oltenia. I'm gonna go with Oltenia. Despite the Bucharest Treaty of 1918 forbidding them to do so, the Iron Guard regime of Romania halted, hailed this as an important step to restoring Romania to its former greatness. It remains to be seen whether they will uphold the other stipulations of the treaty. So there's some um, other things. Iron Guard Romania. Kingdom of Croatia. So yes. Oh, Hungary is uh, EU4 Hungary shaped. And is not part of the Austrian Empire right now. That's the same leader. But count as different countries. Strange. St. Patrick's Day flood. On March 16th, 1936, warmer than usual temperatures led to the melting of large amounts of snow and ice on the upper Alle uh, Allegheny and Monogahale. Mo Native American names are hard. Rivers. Rivers. The rivers and their tributaries had already been over their banks and were now threatened to take uh, uh, the city of Pittsburgh. On March 17th, 1936, the waters reached the flood stage of 25 feet. Holy shit. Overnight, heavy rain caused this water to rise even higher. On March 18th, the water peaked about 46 feet. 21 feet above the flood stage. Holy shit. Yeah, we must protect the people. First International Congress. Representatives from numerous syndicalists and socialist nations have gathered in Paris today in what might be the defining moment in history for the ideologies. The French Commune has invited numerous countries to the first gathering of the members of the Third International to discuss political foreign matters, cooperate on spreading socialism further. The French opened up the International with a powerful parade, festivities in Paris, finally a speech by the chairman of the CSP. Topics like Spain and the United States and the first world econo economic crisis now click to war, war on Mongolia fi um, are at the top priority and it's expected that France and Britain will take the initiative in the gathering. An interesting development. The Indian Citizenship Act of 1936 in order to gain more sympathetic sympathy from the north and the west it has been proposed by the state uh, by the senate of the united uh, senate and the house that an indian citizenship act be passed effectively elevating all indigenous peoples of the united states from second class citizens to full citizenship pass the act and hope it will gain us some sympathy or veto the bill ah uh, pass the act i'm all for the natives Raiding group that no, it's the other group that has the destroyers. Okay, how is our training doing? That'd be strange, strenuous. Okay, our popularity is rising due to higher. We don't need this. This is the popularity rising is the uh, buying stability um, event that apparently comes up. But I'm so deep in the hole that I definitely cannot do that. There we go. Downfall in stability. This does not sound good.
The only unfortunate thing about this is the fact that I have the 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 like the just the standard focus tree, and there aren't the um with this mod there aren't the uh the the the, the focuses that you can always do currently anyway. Hey, our first new unit. The first infantry division. Um, I'm also going to name the uh, armies uh, uh, after after uh, patron, patrons. I'm going to go with armies this time instead of actual battalions. So the first army is uh, going to be... Of course it's got to be... Straders. Straders. Straders striders. Straders striders. Is that actually something? Is that fully? No. Just call it Straders First Army. Under General or Field Marshal. Let's go with a General. Let's look for skill. Courtney Hodges, George Marshall, Collins. Oh, that's going to be on top of Bob's army. I'm sorry if that ever happens. Let's go John, John L. DeWitt in charge of Strader's First Army. And the Cavalry Army. Um, it's actually all of those finishing. So, uh. We go concentrated industry. And construction effort two. We go rush down the construction effort tree and grab the um, extra research slot. That's my plan anyway. Oops, I was holding. What's it called? Caps lock instead of the normal thing. And the cavalry army is going to be. Uh. Rommel. Rommel can have this army. Uh, Rommel's... Oh god, caps lock. Rommel's second army. That's going to be a fast attack brigade, led by Courtney Hodges. Right, but with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this first episode of... Uh, why look at Kaiser Rank Mod as the United States? Hope you're all enjoying this, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye, folks.